Hello friends, it's me, Chris again, with a Dauntless video. Now, I'm going to try to start putting out content on at least a weekly basis. Hopefully, a Moto Vlog on Mondays, which one should be coming out, this is Sunday, one scheduled to come out on Monday, so you will actually have that. And I'm going to try to put out at least one gaming video a week. Maybe two, because I play video games a lot, so I might as well record something and try to put it on the internet, right? So, with Dauntless, there is a behemoth that gives a lot of people trouble called the Pangar. It is a big, icy, beaver, scaly lizard, man. And it gets a lot of people hung up there. It's tier 4 going on to the Maelstrom, and in the closed beta, you need to get past it to get, like, the closed beta rewards. One thing that I've noticed on the internet in searching YouTube when I was stuck on it, there are bunches and bunches of videos of people soloing it and how to solo it. Now, not saying that that's a bad thing. I, the first time I beat it, I did solo it, so... You know, whatever. But... I found that when I'm playing with my friends, Pangar is easy. We're all on the same page and we all know what to do. So, I'm going to go into this LFG style. I'm just going to queue up, look for a public match, and try to guide my teammates if they don't know how Pangar works. Try to guide them into doing it correctly. And, it'll all make a little more sense once... Uh, you see it if you don't know what a Pengar is, but it does this little roly-poly attack. It'll roll at you, you dodge out of the way. If you just sit there, nine times out of ten, it will roll back. And if you're using a Warpike, which I am for this video, this is a Hellion Warpike. I just got it the other day, so it's pretty exciting. If you're using a Warpike, or even if you have a good hammer user on your team, when it rolls back, you can either use the Warpike's shot to stun it and knock it out of its little roll, or you can use a hammer. If you're really good, you can use an axe or a sword. I have tried and failed using a sword countless times, so I'm going to use a pike because I'm bad, and that's just how it goes. So... I'm going to queue up, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're flying in. We have a chain blade user, a hammer user, and an axe user on our team. So, got a little bit of everything. The hammer and axe user are using a little lower armor. The chain blade user is using pretty high armor. So, I'm going to get rid of my camera. I'm gonna... is everyone here? I'm gonna put my copied message in chat. Yee. You know, you would think that they would fix that message popping up every time, but... So, while we look for him, uh, I will see you guys when we find him. Instead of making you, uh watch me look for him the whole time so see you in a bit hello again guys so after i said i'll be back once we find him my game crashed and had to find a new group so this is group number two i'm gonna post the same thing in chat and if it'll let me will let me i'm not in uh in windowed thingy there we go Post the same thing, and I will be back when we find him. Okay, there's one boop primed and ready. I hit the tree. Now that is kind of a byproduct of being so spread out. You kind of want to be in a clump for Pangar, honestly. That way when he rolls, he really only has one direction that he's going to go. Now 
And then you just smack him a bunch. This is pretty much the whole Pengar fight. Get somebody to boop him. And then, uh, hope for the best. We had our fourth guy disconnect again. Which I probably won't show the whole fight just because it is just rinse and repeat over and over and over again. And I don't know if you guys really want to watch me booping a Pengar for 15 minutes. Now you can actually boop with chain blades if you have a boop cell in it. It's called like heavy blades or something like that. It is the only way that you can actually boop with chain blades is putting a cell in them. So that's kind of why I don't really care for chain blades that much because booping is a lot of fun for me. I like booping. It's fun. And there we go again. This guy's using his attack speed increase lantern, which is a good idea. And, like I said, once... Once you got it going, it's pretty... Pretty easy going. This is gonna hit me. Oh, that that's interesting. Okay. Style. Style points. I didn't mean to pop my little lantern, but... Oh, he must be hurting if he's enraging already. Now, I said last time... He only does the 360 spin... When he's enraged. So you don't really have to worry about that... Most of the time. Now, we might not rage... Rage... Roll back because that guy is so close, but he did. That's why it's so important just to stay as a group with Pengar, because if one person is too far forward, his boop window could get messed up if he targets that person. It's just a whole mess. So it's it's really important to stay as a group. Uh, woo! I didn't have any stamina. So we're both on this side, so we're going to see... See, there's this, like, should I or shouldn't I moment. That's just really hard to figure out if your team is on top of him, because you know, eventually, he's going to roll. You just really don't know when. I hate that little foot scratch move that he does. Yeah, get out of here. Go over there. Yeah. Now see, this guy's chasing. He should not be chasing. He was actually in the game with me last time. He should he should know this a little better. Alright, he's enraging. So now you have to watch out for the 360 tail swipe. There it is. It's a pretty long wind-up for the tail swipe when it's the 360 one. Okay. If I were a betting man... Okay. It's not how that should have gone, but, you know, whatevs. Now. Yeah. 360... No. I really thought it was. I'm gonna try to go for the tail. The tail is really hard to hit, especially with a war pike. It's just at a very bad height. I'm gonna get hit. Oh wow, I didn't. Give me that iron thistle. Tail slap. Now I explained in the last group 
how you can kind of tell if he's going to roll or do a tail slap. And hold, see, this is a roll. You can tell. See, I don't know why that didn't boop him. It's like it didn't do any damage. And I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard I try. He'll do a wiggle if he's going to do a tail slap. And he'll just kind of... That's a roll. We're going to do this again. That's a roll. And I completely missed. Now see, he rolled away, but he already rolled twice, so now he's probably not going to roll. Tail slap. Headbutt. Now he should roll. He should have no issues with rolling. Yeah, here we go. See, as long as your team stays with it, stays with the plan, Pengar is pretty simple. But if they don't, he can be a nightmare. This is going to hurt now. Tail slap. Oh, he's running away. So now you can just go, oh. Oh, he's not running away. I thought he was. I don't know what that was about. I was probably going to roll back and we're going to miss the boop. Or he just won't roll back. Nope, here it is. So yeah, this is, this is Pengar. Just over and over and over again, you just try to knock him over. And as long as you have a team that kind of keeps with it, you should be fine. I should really use a health pack. I have not been paying attention. Health pack. We're going to hope he rolls again. No, he won't. Tail slap. See, that hit him. That didn't knock him over. Ow. Oh, nice! The axe guy booped him. Now, he used his super armor frames, or iframes, in the third charge of his axe swing to do that. You either have to be real good or real lucky to do that. I have a feeling that he was real lucky. Nothing against him. Tail slap. Just don't, uh... He has not exhibited that he kind of knew when to boop before. So, unless I just haven't been giving him the uh, opportunity... Which is an opportunity. Opportunity? Possibility. I tried. I want this. Alright, roll back, buddy. See, we could all be in position to do DPS if that guy was with us instead of chasing.
Okay, now he's just running away. So, like I said, that's Pengar. I'll probably edit in the uh, the killing of him, but I probably won't say much until the end. So, I will see you guys for that, and then I'll just give a brief breakdown at the end, and I'll be that. Well, unfortunately, I forgot to hit record when we found him again. So, oops. After we met him the last time, or after you saw the last time, we found him again, pretty much continued the same basic idea. My teammates died, I had to use most of my potions, and then he ran away again. Still forgot to hit record. And then we ended up killing him. So, I wish I would have hit record because the main reason my teammates died is because one of them kept chasing him. And I kept putting in chat, please do not chase. And he kept dying. And then my other teammate kept going and trying to revive him so our danger didn't go up. And then in turn, my second teammate kept dying. So... Long story short, should be hit that there. Long story short, Pengar is just patience. Just have patience. We're gonna go talk to this goat because I like this goat. Pengar is all about patience. If you're not patient and you chase Pengar, it's gonna be real hard. If you sit back and if you are a booper, if you have a war pike or even the cell in the chain blades or you're good with the hammer. I have not mastered the hammer boop on the Pengar yet. It's something that I'm trying to do before the closed beta ends. Sword, I'm really bad at, so I'm not even trying to do that yet. You cannot boop with an attack from the war pike besides the little shot thing that it does. That's the only thing that can boop to my knowledge. So, I hope this video helped. Um... If it did, let me know. If it didn't, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Or you can stop by my live stream. I'm trying to live stream every day from 8 p.m. Eastern until I get tired, which most of the time is between 12 and 2 a.m. So, 8 p.m. Eastern, feel free to stop by, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.